All right, Lisa, go ahead. George, you posted a while ago in Mastercard Group about this concept for having clients, but all in small little groups and like one big group and then small little groups like three tri like trios, you know, meeting with you once a week or so. And it it sounds fabulous because it it, it sounds like it, it limits the amount of work one has to do. It's, it doesn't feel scattered. It feels like focused on one sort of thing that, that all moves along. But my question is, how do you get to that point where you have enough people who can sign up for that? And that's Brilliant, always yeah. been a struggle for me. Uh, well, knowing your audience, I think, Liesl, if you made a concerted effort, you can have enough people for this. Not That's not true for everybody watching this, but I think you, yeah, I think you could. So, um, but uh, for everybody else, uh, it, it essentially is about either personally like if, if, if someone has no audience, then of course it's about personally recruiting um, friends or friends of friends who might want to do this, right? If someone has an audience, then, then it's like yourself, then it's about making a concerted effort to make sure that the audience has heard about this several times over several weeks at least. And then that's a concerted launch essentially. And then making sure they hear about it, you know, once a month for a while. Um, because it really does take time for people to get to wrap their minds around working with you. Well, number one, just even the idea of, oh, maybe I should work with Liesl. Maybe I should uh, do something, you know, one of her services or one of her programs. Like it takes people time once they see the offer to then consider it, sleep on it, talk to their, you know, partner about it, et cetera, et cetera. And then secondly, to, to, to understand, oh, okay, so this is where I'm in a small, small group with you, just with two other to other clients, that way, it can be more cost effective for me. Uh, you know, as a client, I'm not hiring you one to one. That's available too, I guess, if you want to make that available. Anyway, so Lisa, I think we need to map out your launch strategy essentially for this. Hmm. I'm still not sure I have enough people who are focused on the same problem. What would be to the, want to work the problem? Together. Well, I'm see. I'm starting to see recently that I'm all, most let's say ninety to ninety five percent of the people I work with are sensitive, sensitive introverts who yes. also have a business. Oh, cool! Right? Great. That's so. It's it's a little bit more narrow than just a sensitive introvert. Right. So it's right. like okay, they're either thinking about starting a business or they're too scared to, or they are in a business but yes. they have visibility fears or. Yes. Yes. Or they just don't own their strengths. They don't have confidence. Can I really do this? Procrastination. Yes. So all those problems, but it's mostly those kind of people. So, but still the, the clients that I do have, you know, it's, it's less than five at the moment. I work with them very, very long term. And you have worked with many clients over the years. I have worked with yeah. many, many clients over right. the years. Right. And they're very scattered geographically so yeah well the, it's online you know, it's online yes, it's okay yes. yes so like just all at one time to get so many people together just sounds like impossible to me because mm -hmm. i've never succeeded at that right that's why it sounds impossible well but i i have confidence that a uh, confidence that you can um so by the way let's just clarify how many people we're talking about the, the way that you're talking about it sounds like well, you have to recruit <laughs> 845 people to make this <laughs> viable no no we're talking about 21 is the maximum right, <laughs> right? Yeah. 21 people is the maximum you currently have five clients you probably worked with 50 over the over the years or probably more actually. many more Which, yes. might, many more exactly yeah. that's why i'm like looking at your your business history i'm like yeah no lisa this is not a problem um now not that if you don't get to 21 in the first launch that it's not no it, it might be 10 maybe mm -hmm. well let's think in trios here it might be 12 or nine yes. for the first <laughs> launch and it probably is not a bad idea to start that way mm -hmm. so that you can experience the the trios uh that have a, a a group you know if you want to do the group format for 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 mm -hmm. the trio collective um and then do that for three months or six months and then like okay now i think i'm ready to expand it beyond nine or 12 to to 21 
So Lethal, if I say it, said it that way, do you think you could get nine people to do this? I guess if I think about, because you mentioned, first of all, over time, people would have yes. to hear about it several yes. times. Yes. So it's not, because what I usually get fall the trap into is like, oh, okay, I'm going to launch something. Okay, it's going to be next week. So now- Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it should be, you know, right now we're recording this on August 12th. If, if you were preparing and say, I'm, I'm going to, you know, start preparing for the launch, well, launch in September, you, you wouldn't start until um, at least mid-September, if not August or uh, October. Mm. I'd probably go, if I think about that yeah. number of people all together, all right. having similar issues, I've I've got about 750 fans on Facebook, but See, you know, you know, and you how, have hundreds but, on or thousands on your email list. I, I forget. Not, no, 500? 500, yeah. So nine out of 500 email list subscribers, nine out of 700, you know, Facebook fans. Um, I think it's doable. So I, I think for you, especially. Uh, so, um, and the fact that you just named. You just said that 90%, 95% of your, you know, kind of clients and true fans are, have a particular journey that, that, that they can relate to each other on mm -hmm. is, is a very good sign because then you could create the group about that journey. Like the, 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 the overall group or the tree, well, the, the overall issue you are working with the group on uh, and as well as inside the trios might be something like, and I don't want, I don't, I don't, let me just say this because uh, it might be interesting for you. You might have another idea, but another formulation, but I'll just say it might be like how to, uh, uh, how to, you know, kind of shine in your business by using your hidden strengths effectively and, um, and overcoming your emotional blocks to success or whatever it may be, right? Like that kind of idea. Cause now that encompasses both your strengths work and EFT mm. and sensitive work, your work with sensitive folks. So, mm. but yeah, so I could see but, that being a very clear, like, well, there's a lot of work there to do, of course. And it makes sense to do it, uh, you know, with you particularly, it makes sense to do it in trios. Yes mirroring the strengths you know learning about each other mirroring the strength or, or or confirming the strengths or you know kind of encouraging in that respect and then of course the eft tapping as you always do it's very helpful to do in groups yes true true and and i love very small groups for the tapping work because they always have reflections of their own issues in somebody else and so it's very helpful to do little groups but small because it's intimate and very comfortable for them that way yeah, three is three is definitely mm. small. So yeah, mm. yeah. In my world, it's kind of normal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, and, and uh, I think now you can make it normalized. <laughs> you can make yeah. it like well, that is supposed to. That's a feature, <laughs> yes. not a bug. It's a feature. Yes. Yeah. It's, right. <laughs> Thanks for that title, George. That that I'm gonna replay it and just get the name again. Was it that yeah. sounded really clear? Um, yeah. So what I'm taking away is. Uh, People just have to hear about this for a while. They do, yeah. What 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 I'm taking away is I'd like to see you have a launch plan for this. It doesn't have to be the typical launch plan of we're going to do five videos and then and then a hardcore sales webinar, open cart, bonus mm -hmm. reveal, close cart, open cart. <laughs> Obviously, that's not the kind of launch we're talking about. But it needs right. to be all right. My audience is going to hear about this. My Facebook audience is going to hear about these this three times, five times, or whatever. My Instagram audience, you know, it's like each place you are in where your content is, my Facebook profile audience is going to hear about this three times. You know, each place you're in needs to have a concerted effort of hearing about it several times. My newsletter audience, obviously. Right. And right. Okay. also, do I have colleagues? who makes sense for them to share something about this. This is where you start booking interviews or, um, you know, more quick conversations about this thing. Right, some net caring. Some net caring and just, just even this, just outreach, you know, just outreach to, hey, 
friend, you know, and like, I'm launching this thing really excited. If you happen to have any space in your social media uh, content calendar to mention this, uh, if you happen to have space to add it to some newsletter, totally optional. I just want to let you know that I'm doing this in case you're here, in case you know somebody that you could personally invite to this, uh, be grateful, you know. Brilliant. Thank you, George. It so feels maybe, a bit more doable. Maybe, maybe the next uh, Q&A or at some point, uh, you could share what the plan is or parts of your plan or something. George, can I yeah. add to that a little bit? Uh, Amy, please do. Thank you. Yes. So Lisa, um, I last April, I asked George about launching a program and he was like, yeah, just do, you know, and I went, Woo. so I, I'm actually launching it right now. Your numbers are so much bigger than mine, but mine's going really well. But I, I did a couple of things that George had mentioned that I think have helped. Um, I first set up just a wait list page to an email group on my website. And then in every newsletter, I just kept saying, hey, this thing is coming. <laughs> I'm still awesome. working on it. I Here's some it. ideas of the vision of it, if you're interested. And so I, I, love I it. managed to yes. get a wait list of like 10, I think 80 or 90% of them signed up. And I have 150 people on my email list, Lisa. Like so, ten, so almost 10% 90. of your list joined the wait list. Yeah. Wow. And I just kept putting it like in little PSs, like, I have this vision of this thing. <laughs> right. And it's coming it. later. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so Brilliant. When George, was saying, when George was saying, just keep kind of putting it out there, that has worked really and And I could do that without having anything but just one page with a wait list. I didn't have an automation like, hey, thanks for signing up for the wait list or anything. I just had a thing. I think it had a pop-up that said, thanks for signing up. We'll be in touch. <laughs> okay. So, so that I... was a good way to kind of start seeding it. And then when I did, um, the very first thing I did was I sent personal one-on-one -on -one emails to all of my existing clients and to everybody that was on that wait list. I didn't right send a mass email at all. That is part of what I do as well. You know, yeah, when I so when I enroll from MasterHeart, obviously my newsletter hears about it, but I personally reach out to certain people. Yeah, like 50 people personally. Yeah, it took a yeah. while. I was doing yeah. like five because at the time, I mean, I had like my like kind of copy and paste right. email. Right. Yeah. But then at the top, I was like, it was yes. like, a, like I was of course. emailing a friend. Like, I, yes, you know, I knew yes, them. totally. Um, those were the people, my wait list, that they all signed up. And then I didn't even include the links to sign up there. I just said, if you're interested, let me know and I'll send you the links because I didn't even have those set up yet. <laughs> you know, I'm going to, Amy, I'm so glad you mentioned Good. it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to start naming this authentic mystique, <laughs> right? Like authentic mystique, meaning, you know, some people do mystique in a markety kind of like it's a trick, you know, because they already have everything. They're just pretending they don't have it but this is true like i don't this know what it's going to be yet totally true. <laughs> let, yeah, me, let me tell you all that something's coming <laughs> like literally and then um and then i sent all those emails out those personal emails out and i had two people both of whom signed up reply and say hey i so appreciate this i have friends who would be interested would you mind if i forwarded this email i know it was a personal email love it wow no, i don't mind no <laughs> <But> like <laughs> And they, and whoever they forwarded it to have since signed up, I think it was the 13 on my little bit <laughs> wow. for this monthly membership. So um, yeah, I just wanted to say like, you have more than enough. You have more than enough right. people. Right. I've been kind of, I, my goal, yeah, you have enough. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Amy. That's great, great ideas yeah. and points. Thanks. Yeah. That, that's why, Lisa, when you said, I'm like, wait, no, not, that's not, <laughs> I think, you, yeah, you have, yeah, yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're in a, you're in a blessed situation where you have built good, uh, goodwill with, with enough people over time. That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you, George. This was very helpful. Thanks everyone. Yeah. Thank you.